in another part as well. So what we can do now, we will create another part. In another part as well, we can call the power copy. So here you can hide, add a new geometrical set as an input. In that we're going to be at the point. Then you can add a line for tooling. So here you can select a Z as a tooling that will be fine or any other direction also you can select X as a tooling line you can select. So this we can name as a start point. This we can name as a tooling line. Then we need to add slider lifter direction. It's a Y over here. So this we can add slider lifter direction. Then you can add a color to that. So this is something like you're going to be a tooling line. This will be slider lifter direction. Okay. So we are now recalling the power copy from the existing one. Okay. So we have created the power copy in another part. Okay. So this part we have created the power copy. Okay. So here we have already created power copy and we need to recall this power copy. In this part two, we need to recall. So we can start. We need to have the input menu input what we have in power copy. So that we need to check. And if you want to check that, you can go over here and check the power copy inputs. Okay, so power copy inputs are start point, slider, lifter, and tooling line. So these are nothing but the input we want. So you can click that. And now we've already created that three inputs. Okay. Start point, tooling line, lifter direction. Then we can go insert instantaneous from selection. We will do we'll select. Rather than clicking anywhere, we directly go to the select window, then go for the power copy, then select direct power copy, come back, the automatically it will be come back to the previous window, what we have part two, and in that will be asked for the tooling line. Okay, so we can select the tooling line over here. The same way we're going to be have the tooling line, arrow need to be checked. So it will be inwards. Then if you select the slider lifter, so all the things will be similar. We need to select and check for the preview. You get kind of this doggos. Even you can check what are the color we have given that color also going to be carry for this logos properties and if you want to inverse that you can check we can inverse that as well okay if you want to inverse this we can inverse this as well okay so the position will be we can change easily before we click on okay okay so as per your requirement you can change the position before you click okay so once you click okay it will be get freeze and we need to change over there separately okay so it will not get edited separately okay so this is how we're going to do the power copy in another part as well okay so we need to recall for that we need to have somewhere here in another part power copy so we can recall that as well okay